we understand you've gotten the approvals from uh, the county, or I don't know who it is who issues the approval, but the appropriate approvals for that. Uh, are there any, do you have any independent studies on the, that go to the impact of, of the change in the use of this facility on the septic system? So again, I think, um, and it may be that, that it's just not, um, not maybe the expertise. Um, so the, the Department of Health for the state of Maryland um, works with each county. So when the county um, looks at a permit and it goes down through all the things you need to do, fire, life safety, obviously the health department, um, they go through all the perking that was originally done by the Hennessy's and the Franco's, they go by the flow of the system, they go by all those things. And I think where people are getting stuck is that um, this system is a 1500 gallon system. So if you divide that by 180 gallons per day for a normal person, um, you know, you can have um, 15 people, uh, excuse me, 14 people. Uh, if, you, if, if, if you're a disabled resident in an assisted living, uh, if it's you and I, uh, then we're down around nine, nine people. So the fact that um, you've got five bedrooms at 180 gallons per bedroom, that's how the house was originally built, that's how the septic system was built, that's how it's functioned since 2007 um, and been approved by, by the health department, that's 900 gallons of flow a day. Well, I, I, I understand that. I'm not, I'm not disputing anything you've just said. I was just asking whether you have any independent studies on that subject. Have, have, didn't need any to get the permit. Don't, don't need any for the license. So the answer is no. No. Thank you. That's, that's what from, from what we said earlier, I just want to make sure I'm right on this. Your, your intention is, is to comply with the county regulations on septic system and so forth, but not to do any independent monitoring. Is that correct? Uh, just complying with county and state health. So yeah. there's no okay. reason to independent monitoring. Well, 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 I understand there may be difference of views on that, but I just want to make sure what your, your thinking is. All right, let, let, me, let me get to the, well, to, David, to, David, again. David, the only thing I would say on that is, um, uh, you know, the church isn't doing any independent monitoring. Um, again, if there's, someone's got a great concern, and someone's been an environmentalist, and and we go talk to the health department. Um, you know, I, o open to anything, but again, uh, it's it's well below nine nine residents is nine hundred gallons. It's a fifteen hundred gallon system. Um, you know, I I understand that, Craig. I understand that's your view, and I'm not arguing with you. I'm just trying to make sure I've I'm I've got the facts straight. I'm not sure we all would agree with you, but that's not what we're trying to resolve today. We're trying to make sure we understand what's proposed. Well, the, I, I would ask, David, I would ask what, what's, what's the opinion and what's the expertise of the opinion saying that, that um, a 1,500-gallon system is not sufficient for, for uh, nine seniors in... Um, if, if, we have to, if we have to get... If we get to that issue, we'll be happy to talk about it, but I'm not here to talk about it today. I just wanted to make sure that there, there wasn't anything already planned if people were concerned about that. 